Well, Minnesota's legislature convenes on Tuesday for its regular session, but it won't look like a normal one. Here's a look at the top issues, changes also coming this year. The Minnesota legislature is still split after the 2020 election. When the session starts, the DFL-led House will meet entirely online because of the pandemic. The Republican-controlled Senate will try a hybrid approach. The public doesn't have much access to the state capitol right now because of COVID-19, which means face-to-face -face interactions are being replaced by phone calls, emails, and online meetings. The big task for lawmakers this session is striking a compromise on a new two-year budget. Minnesota is projecting a $641 million surplus in the budget that runs through the end of June. But after that, a $1.3 billion deficit is expected over the next two years. Republicans and Democrats will have to find a way to fill in the roughly $50 billion gap. Of course, the pandemic will be on the agenda, too. Democratic Governor Tim Walz has relied on executive orders rather than legislation to implement restrictions over the past several months. That hasn't sat well with the state's GOP lawmakers. They want more say in how the state handles the virus and reopening businesses and schools. Governor Walls is allowing elementary students to return to in-person learning this month, but Republicans want all students back in the classroom sooner rather than later. And funding for schools is likely to be another sticking point at the Capitol because school districts have been strained under pandemic pressures. And stick with WCCO for continuing coverage of the 2021 Minnesota Legislative Session.